Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our English class. How are you? How are you today? How are you, teacher? Oh, fine. Uh, uh, pretty good, very busy, but encouraged. And so, how are you today? Very good. Awesome. So, welcome to all of you guys for being here in, the, in this English class. I'm very happy to know that we that we are ready always on time. I know that we have a lot of activities and also responsibilities, some chores at home, and but you are here because the most important is to study English. So feel encouraged, feel happy with energy and also to enjoy this class. And overall, the most important is to learn because that's one of the main goals, learn English. Um, so that's why we will try to work in some specific exercises. So today we will display the class in two parts. The first one is related to grammar. And also we will have a speaking activity too that we are going to start because of the time. So I would like to ask you, do you see the presentation? Do you see the presentation? Do you see yeah. the Yes, thank you. Okay, let's go. And also I could see that there are some students that are are working, so I understand that you are working and you know, it's a, an extra effort that you do to be in the class. So, yeah, work actively and also enjoy this conversation because we have a great topic to share. Okay, so the topic is the common health complaints and also we are going to work in the following activity. Look at this. It says practice in vacation spots. Look at the topic, vacation spots. Five popular cities and some sites and events there. Look how interesting is this. Um, thank you for sharing. I know that there are some students that are working, okay? Uh, five popular cities and some sites and events there. You can see five pictures with the description of the place and a specific event. And let's see, Dennis, can you help me to read the five uh, cities? Yes, um, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Tokyo, Japan, uh, Los Angeles, California, Paris, France, uh, Seoul, Korea. Thank you so much. So we know about this place, all right? Carnival, Ginza Shopping District, and uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Tour de France, and uh, Kino Collins. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see um, something important. I want you to think if, well, if you don't know about one of these places, perhaps you can look for uh, in internet or, I mean, what I want you to do is to investigate a little bit about this place. If you know uh, about Rio de Janeiro, give me some ideas about what people do or what people do in shopping district, or what people do, or what can you find in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So I will give you two minutes to investigate some information that you don't know. And then I will ask you about what you know about these famous places. So let's check.
Okay, so let's see about the Carnival Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. What do you know about this carnival? Or what do you know about the country or about the celebration? Who wants to help me to share your information about it? Well, I have heard that in Rio de Janeiro, it's, uh, it's like a mega party, the carnival. People is dancing, people just, sorry, people are dancing, people are dressing in a very particular way with, in a very particular way, and they have a lot of fun. That's, that's what I know. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, very interesting details about Rio de Janeiro. Someone else would like to add more information about this carnival? Yes. Um, someone else that would like to say something else about Rio de Janeiro? The women uh, wear the elegant uh, elegant uh, dress. uh, dress, dresses or customs also right uh dresses clothes and customs okay interesting and they are good dancing right do you know what kind of uh, what's the name of the dance samba oh yeah that's right that's right so we're talking about samba so that's correct Okay, let's go to the next one. The next part is the Jinza Shopping di District. This is located in Tokyo, Japan. So what do you know about this uh, um, kind of event? Do you know about uh, Jinza Shopping District? Do you know something about this place? Well, this is a very famous in Japan. There are a, a, some important stores or shopping malls or shopping centers where people go and get a lot of products, board games, uh, Japanese souvenirs, and cheaper prices. So that's why they travel from different places to go to the Jinsa shopping districts. You see a lot of people because they go to look for some bar games or some special products offered and impressive souvenirs. That's why it's very famous, um, one of the famous cities. Okay, what about the Hollywood Walk of Fame? What do you know about Hollywood Walk of Fame? Who wants to help me? What information do you know about this place? Yes. And also you can see a famous person uh, taking a kind of a story. So what do you know about Hollywood Walk of Fame? Oh, uh, nobody? Uh, Hi, teacher. Yes, yes, tell me. Oh, okay, for me, Hollywood is a place and the records, movies, it's a place, um, the, the, the much history, mm. it, it, I, I like Hollywood. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 
All right. So yeah, definitely that is a very famous place. So people, they, the most uh, famous people and celebrities and personalities, they go there to, you know, to have an special story. So they have an, uh, a store in one street in Hollywood. So you can see artists, singers, musicians, actors, uh, important people. They are selected to have a store on the floor that represents their career or something special. So look how important is that. This is located in Los Angeles, California. Let's see the next one. The, the Tour de France is in Paris, France. So what do you know about this, the Tour de France? What do you know about this tour? Um, this Paris is an amazing place, place where everyone looks good and rest great and they really like wine or alcohol in general and they also love the sun and romantic day this is a fantastic activity in the place but he's the preference for the couple and uh uh grandfathers or i don't know señores okay thank you so much Thank you. Uh, someone else that would like to add extra information? Okay, teacher. Yes? Uh, I, I remember uh, one person on the Tour de France is he champions the Tour de France. Uh, uh, Nails answers, maybe. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, the, the kind of, yeah, he, he won uh, some races. Yeah, definitely. So uh, this is a, a, an important international competition. The best cyclists around the world, they meet in this place. Uh, in this is uh, a special race. So the best one wins this competition. This is like the World Cup for cyclists. But in that case, is. A, a different thing, but people follow this competition because it's very competitive. Okay, let's see the last one. Uh, Keonbuk Palace. This is in, in Seoul, Korea. Do you know something about this place? I can't know how information to this place. The combo place was was built in the years. Uh, nineteen thirty-five years ago. Okay, imagine. So it's very old, very very old, but very majestic. It's very majestic. So it's very impressive, and so that's why we know about this one so you can uh, look for the internet also about this palace there are five palaces in total and also people enjoy going to these places because the the architecture and the structures of the palace so it's very nice 
Okay, so let's continue. About this place, uh, do you have a question or comment before we go on to the next page? Questions? No? Yes? Maybe? It's easy, so tell me something. Questions? No questions. No questions. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have a grammar topic that we will use in this case. And what's the topic? Modal verbs can and should. So I know that this is easy. We use can to talk about abilities and also to talk about something that you can do. It's a positive action that can be, can be done. And also we use should to talk about a suggestion about something that you can try or you can not try. So a recommendation, I, you should go to Los Planes de Renderos. Oh, you should go to Ilopango Lake. You should go to, to Coatepeca Lake. Uh, you should go to the San Salvador Cathedral. So you give a recommendation about visiting a place or getting to know about a place. And also we can see some examples here. We have six statements. Who wants to help me to read the sentences? I need a volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the palace, palace of fine art. You can visit some museum on Monday. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. Okay, that's correct. So you know that, for example, if I ask you guys in general, what can I do in El Salvador? What can you tell me? What can I do in El Salvador? Give me some ideas. We can visit a Suro City. Ah, cool. Yes. You can eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. What kind of pupusas? What kind of pupusas? Uh, revueltas. Oh, Scrambled uh, bean and cheese, yes. yes. Nice, nice. What else can I do in El Salvador? Um, I'm going the beach tamarindo beach in La Unión. Ah, yeah. Impressive, impressive beach. Yes. What else can I do in El Salvador? Give us some ideas, please. Yes, yes, yes. And also you can see the examples. Look at the examples here. Los tamalitos in El Salvador. Do you know a place where I can buy a delicious tamales? Do you know a place where I can get delicious tamales in El Salvador? Delicious tamales, teacher. Yes, uh, where? A place where you can buy tamales? Uh, okay, teacher, for me, in the good tamales in the Chalatenango City. Mm, Chalatenango. Make, okay, make okay. Very good tamales. Awesome. So it's a great recommendation trying new tamales. Okay, awesome. Um, well, also checking the statement here, um, saying you can see the Palace of Fine Arts, you can see this place, you can, and also in the negatives, you can't, negative, can't. You can't visit uh, this place because it's dangerous or because it's dirty. You can't visit mountains in winter because it's dangerous. So some recommendations. 
And also the next question, what should I see in El Salvador? What should I see in El Salvador? Give me some ideas. What should I see in El Salvador? Yes? Hello, hello? Um, what should I see? Nobody? Uh, Christian? Kenya? Uh, any famous volcano that you you can recommend me to to see? Any famous volcano? La Catedral de San Salvador. Mm, okay. Oh, it's Alco's volcano. All right, awesome. You should see the sunset in the tunnels to Liverpool. For me, for me, all country is beautiful. Okay. I can't, I can't not recommend. Okay, thank you. All right, so after watching here, uh, this uh, possible destinations that you have mentioned because you have experience, we will take a short time to complete the following conversations using can or can't, should and shouldn't. ¿Qué significaba can? Negativo de ser, ¿verdad? Can. ¿Qué significa can? Poder. Puedo. Poder, right? ¿Y qué significa can't? No puedo. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa... No ¿Qué significa, así es, qué significa should? Debería. Debería. ¿Y qué significa? Debería. ¿Y qué significa shouldn't? No debería. No debería. Ok, perfect. So, what I want you to do is to do the following activity. One second. Ok, what we had to do is we're going to complete the following conversations. And we will decide if we use can, can't, should, and shouldn't. Um, I will give you a couple of minutes to complete this exercise. When I say, let's continue, you will give me some ideas to answer these conversations. Okay? So, good luck and complete the exercises.
Okay, are you ready? Yes? No? Yes. 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 Ex excellent. Okay, we go step by step. So take notes about it. So I will use the chat so we can also have some recommendations uh, about this exercise. So we go with the first. Uh, number one. Uh, who wants to help me to read the number one? Ken. Ken. So it would be, uh, read the sentence. Read the sentence, please. I should decide okay. where to on my vacation. I can decide where to go on my vac vacation. So in this case, it's negative. Yes. So I can't. I can't decide where to go on my vacations. So you are like, uh, you are not, you don't know where to go. And the next person says, part B, what the person says, you, you should go to India. It is my favorite place to visit. Okay. You should go to India. Okay. Uh, it's a possibility too. As a recommendation, you should go to this place. Okay. And number two, number two, uh, who wants to read it? Number two. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I, in a moment, I should go? Mm-hmm. You can go anytime. The weather is nice all year. So the number two, you say that could be you should go. Uh, wh when do you think I should go? Mm -hmm. Yes, should. Okay. And then can. You can. You can go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also can be can. Or should. So you can use should or can. Both could be acceptable. Uh, you can go anytime or you should go anytime. I think both could be great. Okay. So when you use can, when you use can, you confirm because you know. For example, you say, um, puedes ir a, en cualquier momento. Es porque lo sé, porque conozco. Pero si digo, you should go. Es como una sugerencia. Deberías ir en cualquier momento. Entonces son dos contextos diferentes. Uno es para confirmar que sí puede ir en cualquier momento. Y la otra es como una opción. Deberías ir en cualquier momento. Entonces, can would be a good choice for that. Ok, number three. Ok, who wants to help me to read the number three? Look at this. A volunteer. A volunteer. I can, I can, pardon, can I rent a car when I ride in Cairo? What do you recommend? Mm -hmm. Okay, like a permission. Um, so can I rent a car? And uh, what do you recommend? And the part B, what is the option of the part B? What recommendation this could be? So. Yes. No. Yes. You can't. Should. You should. No, no you can't. You have to travel. It's fast and necessary. Okay, look at the context. Look at the context. No, you can. can. Can't. Can't definitely use this hallway. It's fast, but it says that it's a good choice. Oh, you can definitely use the subway. Do you think can is a good choice? I consider it a show you shouldn't. 
o no, you should definitely use the subway. Tú deberías definitivamente usar el subway como una recomendación. So, should, that would be a good choice in this case. You should uh, definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. That's nice. It's good. Okay, number four. Vamos con la número cuatro. Where a uh, volunteer. Número cuatro. Yes, yes, yes. Number four. And number four, nobody, someone in the class. Where can I get some night? Where are they in Bangkok? Okay, where, where can I get some nice jewelry? Okay, in Bangkok, so we can use can as a, okay. And the part B. What could be the part B? Shouldn't. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, this is a recommendation. You shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't. And the last one, number five. What a volunteer? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Uh, what can I see? Or oh, what should I see? What should I, I see? Why can I why can what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Also, you can use both. If you can see the examples, what should I see there? It's like you're saying, what should I see from the Eiffel Tower? Or what can I see? So both are correct, but also should is for a, a recommendation. So this person is asking uh, for a special recommendation. So in that case, that's why should could be a very nice option. And the per B, check the per B. The last one. You can I see all of bodies, but I bought what are you shouldn't see anything. Okay. Uh you can see all all of Paris. You can, right? So the first one is can. And the last part, the you should um but in bad weather, you you can't, so you can't like this. Okay, that's that's a good choice in this case. Well, so we have completed the exercise, so we have to uh, identify if we use can or also should as recommendation. Uh, questions about this part? Questions about the sport? No questions. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let's go to the next exercise here. We have a couple of questions that we will uh, socialize in the class. And I will give you a couple of minutes to uh, try to give an answer to these questions. You will think about El Salvador. And you had to respond what time of the year should you go to El Salvador what are three things you can do in El Salvador can you buy anything special in El Salvador and give an example yes you can buy some souvenirs some famous t-shirts with the map of El Salvador or perhaps you can uh, buy some tamalitos in the market or perhaps you can try at least the atoll chuco uh, from El Salvador as something special. And what should it, what uh, shouldn't a visitor miss about Salvador? 
the famous mountains in El Salvador, the amazing beaches in El Salvador. So in these questions, I want you to speak, to practice, to produce the language. So I will send a picture of this exercise here. One second. So you can see the chat. Okay. I'm sending you the equations um, by this chat. So meanwhile, I will stop sharing the screen because I need to check the attendance list. So if you allow me one moment, I will be calling you and you say present. Wait a second. Okay, so let's see. Let's see over here, Friday. Ada Agar Burgos. Ada Agar Burgos. Eh, Blanca. Yes. El okay. Pre okay, you are there. Blanca Elena Melara. Present. Thank you. Christian uh, Salatiel Molina. Present. Claudia Lisset Velasquez de Salgado. Present, teacher. Okay, David Roberto Aquino Rodriguez. Present, teacher, present. Okay, uh, Denis Francisco Alvarado Miranda. Denis Francisco. Yes, I'm here, present. Oh, okay, uh, Elena, Gabri Elena Gabriela Jovel. Present, teacher. Thanks. Um, Esmeralda Isabel Martinez. Esmeralda? Not here. Eh, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Uh, Héctor Iván Pérez. Present teacher. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Eh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thanks. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Eh, María Elena Flores. María Elena Flores. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present teacher. Thanks. Rebecca eh, Janelle Hernández. Rebecca. Vanessa Gabriel Hernández. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Xiomara Elizabeth. Eh, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jocelyn Elizabeth Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Disculpe. Hi. Es que me he mencionado a veces. No sé si se me logra escuchar al presente. Uh, let me check. Let, let me check right now. Uh, Giselle. Sí. Yes. Yeah, yes, uh, you're there. Yes. Okay. Um, Esmeralda Isabel Martinez. She has written. Uh, Isabel Martinez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's updated, Isabel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so, are you ready to answer the questions? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Uh, someone else that says yes. Someone else. No.
Okay, someone else uh, is ready? Yes. Okay, so let's try. Let's let's work in this activity. And we will be working in the breakup rooms. So I will be um working in the breakup rooms. So please be ready because I will work with some groups. We will be working in pairs and also in trios. What's the goal? You had to respond to equations and also try to give some details about El Salvador, about what can you buy, about you shouldn't miss. So try to communicate because that's one of the main goals. For this one, you have five minutes. And if you have questions, you can uh, also uh, ask questions in the chat. I will be ready to help you with everything you need. So um, I will create them and also try to have access to it. Let's go. Sí, estoy, estoy aquí escuchando. Ahí está, que no lo hayamos visto. Ah, si querés, viejo, te, te hacemos las preguntas. Eh, ok. Ok. Ah, entonces, eh, Claudia is talking the beach. And what time of year you should you go there? Uh, you should go there in the summer on the or in the spring because it's the more 
best time for the go to the beach? Okay. Uh, what are there things you can do there? Hmm. What are there three things you can do there in the beach? Yes, um, um, I consider playing a soccer, buying the oh, menu uh, okay. take a pictures. Surf? You should surf in the beach because it's more, it's more um, emotional. How do you say? Amazing or excited? Amazing, amazing, correct. And also, you can buy a Mango with chili flower, mango, mango flower, yes, flower and the minutas. I mean, it's are very delicious, it's important in this place. Yes, yes, okay. Um, can you buy anything special? Yes, you, you can buy a you can buy a. Cocktail uh, de concha. Yes. Or, or, or este, mm, I don't know. But I, a lot of things you can buy. Uh, fish fries. I have fish fries. Yes. Yes. Um, French fries is a, a popular in the yes. or, 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 or also you can buy a. Uh, a closer, for example, a shoes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. what shouldn't a visitor miss? Uh, visitor miss. Uh, the pictures? The... Visitor miss. What did the visitor miss? ¿Qué es lo que ellos no se pueden perder en esta visita? Ah, okay. Uh, for example, the, the restaurant. Or the you you shouldn't to visit or miss the um, the piscinas. Yes, right. Um, can El you paisaje, have? paisaje. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? Paisaje. Uh, El lugar va. Uh, landscape. 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 Okay. Landscape. Thank you. Sí. The playground. Playroom, yeah. sí. Park. The in the beach. In the park. Yes. The in the park with the family. The family, yes. Lans Lans okay. The for question for Claudia. Yes. Digo. Okay. Pregunt. What, what time of Georges? What? Time of year should you go there? In verano, todo old. You prefer summer, right? You person. No, uh, you of a new in the ultima. Ah, que no, que no se tiene que perder un, la última es, que no se puede perder un turista. Ok. Uh -huh. 
¿Qué cosa no se podría poner un turista? Sería ir al Parque Libertad a ver cómo bailan. <ríe> Ahí llegan bastantes turistas. O la Puerta del Diablo. Eso podría ser. You can show don't visit Centro Histórico. Ajá, también. Visitar el Centro Histórico, sí, es bonito. El Centro Histórico. And you can show it pupusas. Es nuestra comida nacional. Sí. Sí, la comida nacional, eso está perfecto también, y lo del centro histórico, las dos cosas me parece que son turista. como lo básico. Sí. A tourist has to visit the historic center. Mira, vi. hay que entrenar a Pericles para que juegue básquetbol. Ajá, y también. ¿Qué decís? Hay que entrenar no, a Pericles debe. para que juegue básquetbol. No tuve ni set hay tiempo pusas. ¿Cómo sería la traducción ahí, compañero? ¿Cómo sería, ah, compañero? La traducción ah, es de... de cuál? La de no se no puede el turista no puede dejar de visitar. Un turista no de, ¿Qué es lo que un turista no debe dejar de visitar? Ajá. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Uh, a tourist has to visit the historic center y tiene que no debe perderse comer pupusas. No to be ¿Cómo se diría eso en inglés? No okay, to be visit 18 pupusas, pero no dice él. El visitante. Entonces sería. El, el visitante the tourist. No acordarse. El visitor, uh -huh. the visitor should not. Ahí está. The visitor should not miss 18 pupusas. Mm -hmm. sí. Sería, ¿cómo? The visitor, the visitor, the visitor should not miss 18 pupusas. Ok. The visitor should not. Ir en pupusas. Ok. Short down sería. Short down. Negativo. Short down. Ah, ok. Short down. Ok, thank you. Gracias, compañero. Short down. El otro turista has to visit the historic center. Quieren hacer. Turista has to visit downtown history. ¿Cómo es? The historic center, dice. Ah, the history center. Ajá, como okay. centro histórico. ¿no? Tourist. Eso sería. De ahí el comprar sería, tendría que comprar un yoyo. Uh -huh. El yoyo quedó la compañía. El yoyo, el capirucho. Uh -huh. Se perdió el teacher, bro. Sí. Yo creo que aún a ti ya. Okay, students. Um, well, some students are joining right right now the main section, and uh, let me tell you that it was a great conversation. I could listen to some of you discussing questions about El Salvador and some important details about this place. So, congratulations to all of you. Um, I'm very uh, pleased and fascinated to listen to all of your answers, and also the way that you could try to formulate statements, questions, vocabulary. So um, definitely that is, is something that we need to reach. 
Thank you so much for the effort and the sacrifice you are uh, developing here in this class. And also because it's a project, you have to go to work tomorrow, wake up early, a lot of things to do. And uh, I know it's going to be very successful. Just to conclude, I'm going to speak in Spanish. Eh, el día lunes, pues, eh, terminaremos lo que es la semana para que podamos eh, culminar lo que es los ejercicios en la plataforma de la parte 1 y 2. No se les olvide, el día lunes tendremos la clase y culminaremos eh, la sección 1 y 2. Así que descansen y pasen un feliz fin de semana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Great job. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, you too. Good night to everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.